favorite time of year, summertime in the high country of Utah looking for mule deer. On a general unit, archery only, I love this mountain range. It has had some giant deer over the years that I've been able to pursue and watch my buddies get some and I'm still on the hunt for mine. Always had it be a goal to shoot a, an upper end mule deer, like that magical 200 inch mark. And I usually always find one a year to hunt, but finding them is, is one difficult task. Getting them is a whole other level. So I'm still looking for it to achieve that goal. Uh, I think this year could be the year. I've worked really hard to get to a point where I have the autonomy, free time uh, to be able to hunt and put a lot of time in, document, share with you guys. And that's thanks to your guys' support and helping me live this dream of sharing my adventures up here. Kind of my strategy this summer has been there. The way this mountain range is set up is there's like main canyons. And then within those main canyons, there's 10 or 15 basins and, and like mini canyons inside of you know, those main ones. So I've just kind of been working my way up uh, back and forth along this, this mountain range, trying to hit every basin I can. Uh, just to take inventory even even if I do find a good buck like I'm, I'm not gonna just focus all in on him I want to take good inventory of the mountain. That's something I really enjoy It's getting to understand what animals are out there all around uh, big and small So we're entering August. It's July 31st today So the the last half of the summer before archery season August 20th and I still have some more spots to check and then I also have a Wyoming tag this year, so I gotta go up and scout for that. So busy, 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 a lot of miles, a lot of hiking, using my gear, optics, trekking poles, backpack, <sighs> binos, gaiters, and this sweet Vooney camo that uh, I'm happy to work with them this year and, and get suited up. This stuff is, is crazy good for all conditions. High country, low brush, snow, desert, whatever it is, super versatile and the science behind this boonie gear is, is pretty crazy. Plenty of good bucks running around. There's gonna be a couple, a couple giants hit the ground this year, and I can't share them with you guys. You know how it is. Even if, even if they've been seen by people, best to just keep them quiet until season's over or until you tag out. But one buck that I like, it's a dream buck. Everything about this deer I love. So I can't wait to share him with you guys. It's so peaceful up here, just quiet. Hear a little river roaring down in the bottom. A lot of mosquitoes, so you definitely want to wear, bring a jacket and a hood, even if it's it's hot. This high country, you need to kind of protect yourself from those mosquitoes. But pretty slow day today. Only saw one three pointer. So many little pockets, so. So a little time, gotta run around and check all of them. I've been trying to go out four to five times a week. Kind of a fun little scouting video here, just updating you on my, on my season so far and how things are going. And give you a little, little excitement, a little motivation going into, uh, into August, closing out the summer here, so. Give it one more look and I'll probably head out and go eat breakfast. Beautiful day on the mountain. Good luck this season and uh, stay tuned, subscribe, follow on Instagram, Martin Chag, uh, YouTube, subscribe, like the video, comment, all of that stuff helps to grow the channel and keep me out here doing what I love and sharing these adventures with you guys. So I appreciate the support you guys have you've shown over the last couple of years and 
I hope we just continue to grow together. Good luck. I'll catch you guys on the next video.